Sash Quest is the zipline adventure you simply can't miss this summer. So it's 7,000 feet across, 45 degree angle. It's roughly about 600 feet up above the creek in the middle. Average speed is about 60 miles an hour. That's sort of your start off mark and then you can go faster than that. Even for seasoned veterans who have done skydiving or bungee jumping before, this one still sets it apart a little bit. So you have two different options. So you get to choose between whether you want the van ride up, which is a little bit less expensive, or if you want a full Whistler experience, then you can opt for the peak to peak as well. Then you get a little bit more time to think about what you've uh, signed up for, as it takes roughly about an hour and a half for that full journey. Safety-wise, you're in a five-point harness, so you have two shoulder straps, you have a sternum strap, and you have a waistband, which is what cinches you in there, and then, of course, leg loops. Yeah, a little bit of peer pressure happens, but it's normally when you're first attached, you're looking down. And I still get a little bit nervous, and I've zipped over a million times for sure. I lost count, which is unusual, but I think it's to the point that you're actually zipping into just a whiteout. For those who are scared, that's probably the last time they'll ever do something like that. But for those who absolutely love it, they just want to do it again and again. Woo! The freedom of being outside. Now that I have all the information about Sasquatch, there's really only one thing to do. Ooh, are you sure you can handle it? No, but that's what I'm here for. Alrighty, let's do this. Look out! I forgot to mention that this ride takes about one minute and a half, so I will be here for a while.